In no way, shape, or form does anyone in this room believe that Islam or the teaching of Islam has anything to do with what you've seen on that screen. That is abhorrent. It's terrible. And it does not represent the religion in any way, shape, or form or any of its teachings. Six years ago, those were the words of Jim Kenney, mayor of Philadelphia, just moments after the announcement that Edward Archer confessed to shooting a cop in the name of Islam, a shooting captured on video. Thank you, Mayor Kenney, for demonstrating the depth of delusion in our politically correct culture. Mayor Kenney's way of thinking guarantees more such shootings because it proves to the Muslim world that we don't understand Islam. Islam is a culture of death that has sought to sweep the world in a wave of dominance, destruction, and death since the days of its murderous pedophile founder, Muhammad. It is a pagan cult on the level of the Baal worship that plagued Israel during the days of Elijah and Elisha. And because much of today's so-called Christianity is little more than watered-down paganism, read the online Focus magazine article, Good or Christian, for more insight. Many insist on imposing their personal obligations to be charitable on the nation as a whole without thinking of the harm it may cause others. See today's post on my personal Facebook page about individual obligations. Deliberately exposing one's neighbor to a murderous cult is not Christian charity. Helping others regardless of their background is a Christian duty. Galatians 6 verse 10. Just find a way to do it that doesn't get your neighbor killed. When Jehoram, not to be confused with his brother-in-law of the same name, who was king of Israel, became king of Judah, he didn't wait long to show the pagan influence of his Baal-worshipping wife, Athaliah. The daughter of Ahab and Jezebel was a true believer, just like Mr. Archer in Philadelphia. When Jehoram was secure in Jerusalem, he murdered all his brothers and any leaders who might oppose him, 2 Chronicles 21, verse 4 which is what the world has been seeing for 1,400 years with Islam. Murder, regardless of the reason, is abhorrent. But so is protecting and supporting a murderous belief system. However, remember this. As Christians, we must love all people, regardless of their faith background or chosen lifestyle, or whether they are few or many. We do not return violence for violence, cruelty for cruelty. That means our approach to everyone must be polite and kind, driven by love for souls. But that does not mean we can ignore reality or refuse to speak the truth, even if it gets us in trouble. That's not abhorrent. That's what love does. Thank you for watching Morning Minutes in the Bible on An American Missionary. Until next time, this is James McClenney, hoping you have a great day.